Well, now here in the capital, Colombo, the Commonwealth Summit, boycotted by the leaders of India, Mauritius and Canada, was officially opened by Prince Charles. During the colourful ceremony, the Sri Lankan President Mahinda Rajapaksa again defended his government's human rights record, pledging that the country was stepping into a new era of peace, stability and economic opportunity. Our foreign affairs correspondent, Jonathan Miller, has this report. It was President Mahinda Rajapaksa's crowning moment for him to host the Prince of Wales and 50 presidents and prime ministers is all the proof he needs that he now sits on the world's top table, a respected international statesman. We in Sri Lanka are stepping into a new era of peace, stability, and renewed economic opportunities that have been long denied to my people due to the menace of terrorism that existed for nearly three decades. In ending terrorism in 2009, we asserted the greatest human right, the right to life. But the UN says there are credible allegations that his government asserted this right to life at the expense of tens of thousands of civilian lives. Sri Lanka portrays itself as the pearl of the Indian Ocean, coveted by East and West, but particularly by China, which recently built a massive naval base here. For all the Commonwealth cultural schmaltz worthy of a song contest, this entire event was a feat of political choreography of the highest order. Designed to showcase Sri Lanka's rehabilitation, Outside the Commonwealth Summit bubble, we headed into downtown Colombo, tailed as ever by state intelligence agents. When we got stuck in traffic, they got stuck behind us. The perfect opportunity to say hello. Okay, gentlemen, hello. My name's Jonathan. Can I say hello? Hello, sir? Hello? 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 They turned out to be a little shy, but Mahinda Rajapaksha's secret police are less retiring with Sri Lankans who do not toe the line. The white building across the road here is headquarters of Sri Lankan CID. On the fourth floor is this country's most feared torture and interrogation centre. Over several years I've met many Sri Lankans who have been held there, beaten and tortured, held incommunicado under the Prevention of Terrorism Act for periods of up to 90 days, extendable to 18 months without charge and with no judicial scrutiny whatsoever. I wanted to ask President Rajapaksha about torture at a news conference this afternoon, but it was suddenly cancelled. This evening, David Cameron had what was described as a lively one-to-one -one with Mahinda Rajapaksha. The Prime Minister understood to have repeatedly and robustly raised war crimes allegations and freedom of the press. The pictures of Mr Cameron leaving suggest it was all rather curt and brusque and frosty.